In this video I'm going to be walking you through on how to use SMAT leads. So we're going to be starting from the basics. First, how to set up your Google Business API so you can be able to use Find Google Leads. So you go to Settings. Click on Report Info to customize your report. Enter your name or your business name or agency name, your email, phone number, your website, upload your logo, enter your address and you add the footer. You click Update. You can see that mine is already updated. So after that, you go to the next one, the email settings. This is where you set up your autoresponder. So this is where you enter your SMTP details. In my case, I'm using my own domain name. If you have a domain name, you can actually use it as an SMTP details. I will advise you use a newly purchased domain that hasn't be blacklisted. You start by created a webmail from the domain, use the domain as the host, the email as the username, the email password as the password, and 587 as the port. The enter your name as the sender name and the email address as the sender email and click update. And boom your email sender is set up. The next thing is to set up your Google Business API to be able to search leads from Google Maps places. This doesn't stop you from getting leads from Bing and Business Database. Insert the API here and click update. Now let's move to lead search. You have three options. The Google Business Profile, the Bing Places Search and Business Database Search which is basically LinkedIn Businesses. For the purpose of this demo, we will be using GBP Lead Search. Click on it, select your industry, say gym. Enter a keyword, say fitness, choose a location. In my case I want to search for New York. So as you're typing, it is bringing options. You set your radius. Click search and wait a few seconds for it to return amazing pre-qualified leads to you. Our leads are here. See the email address, see the phone number, see their website, see the address, see how many number of pictures they have. See the number of reviews they have. You see the number pretty good businesses that we pulled up. So you have a variety of options to contact them. So you can decide to select all and export to your CRM. You can as well save all the leads in the system. We're going to be saving this lead under a project name. Let's call the project name Jim and save the leads under the project we just created called Jim. So if you go to manage, you can see the lead. So the next one is Bing lead search. So you go to Bing lead search, you enter your keywords. Let's say we still want to search Jim. So you enter Jim as your keyword. Basically the Bing business search is only available to US businesses. So most of the leads you got in from being basically us. So your location is always going to be us. Let's search for businesses in Utah, USA. So set your radius and wait for it to return the search results. You can see the leads pulled up. This is the email, phone number, website, address. You can see if the business is operational or not. If it's not operational, it's going to indicate here. You can select all and save or export as PDF or CSV to CRM. So for business database, we also do the same. Select your industry. Say architecture, click on search and it will pull up leads that matches your selected industry. And with this, I believe you have been armed with information on how to set up the system and get pre-qualified leads.